Wesleyan and thanks for joining us today. I'm Eliana Mihangos and I'm Aria Duncan coming to you with this week's Wesleyan news. In this week's top news, the Council on Accreditation of Nurse Anesthesia Educational Programs has granted Texas Wesleyan's Graduate Program of Nurse Anesthesia a 10-year unrestricted reaccreditation. This accreditation represents the academic success and work ethic of the GPNA faculty and staff. The Student Government Association has a bill in action that hopes to arrange for a wet building on campus so that students will be allowed to partake in alcohol consumption when legal to do so. There will be more in the story coming up. Well, there's, there's talk that um, in part of the university's um, plan moving forward that President Slayball talked about in his inauguration. There's some talk about building some townhome type condos across the street and there's been a little bit of discussion that there might be a la more lax alcohol policy over there. Um, I'm not entirely sure of all of the details on that. Um, I think that would be an awesome and progressive step for the university. But um, there's a lot of talk right now um, within the SGA and other circles about um, looking into the alcohol policy on campus. I mean, first of all, this is a college campus. We don't, we, it's, it's for education purposes first. We don't, want, we don't want a building called the wet building or something like that. We want to make sure we keep it, you know, the educational integrity of the university and not make it a campus full of drunks. I mean, I think that would be, I guess, the purpose. Um, but we are, um, in SGA, looking into trying to um, relax the alcohol policy some. Um, we are trying to drop a plan currently where we can move a little bit more toward the, uh, the modern student, um, try to maybe emulate what TCU does. At TCU, um, if you're 21 years old, you can um, drink in your room, as long as there's minors on around you, and you can have groups up to six people, and you may not have a wet bar and then you can have alcohol in your room. We're looking into trying to push the administration and the university um, and faculty toward that path because we think that, you know, the university was founded in 1890 and we feel that some of our policies that we currently have are the exact same ones we have in 1890 and that was quite some time ago. So we feel it's possibly a time that we can, with all the changes that are already going on at the university and the steps forward that we're taking, it's like a golden opportunity to capitalize on the steps forward we're taking and look into changing our alcohol policy. I mean, we're not making promises, but we just want to make the administration aware that the students would like, when they're 21 years old, they'd like to be able to sit down and watch a baseball game in the room or watch a football game and have a beer. I don't see how that disrupts um, anything on campus at all. You know, you're in college. It's a time where you're supposed to becoming an adult and you, you're learning responsibility. And if you're 21 years old, you should be able to sit in your room and drink a beer and watch your watch the Super Bowl and not have to leave campus, get drunk, and drive back. It's, it's also a safety issue as well. There's the possibility of a housing development for Texas Wesleyan students. Residence Life has discussed building one and two bedroom townhomes on Rosedale Street across from the Science and Arts Building. We are looking at building some townhomes across the street from the campus. We're right now in the investigation phase to see if students really want it. Um, there are a uh, possibility of one and two bedroom townhomes. They would be like regular apartments, full kitchens, um, uh, that have uh, uh, no meal plan associated with it. They'd just be like living off campus, but you'd be right on campus. Um, right now with the investigation phase, we don't know if students are interested in it, if students would want it. When we did it with the grad students, we didn't have much of a response for students 25 and up. Um, so now we're surveying students between the ages of 20 and 24 to see if there's an interest from them. Well, I think it's a good idea because it will bring more students to this school, which we need. and. But I think the problem would be security. We need a strong security there because it doesn't look like a good area. It needs a lot of maintaining and a lot of money investing in this area to make, uh, to make it students want to live there. would probably not have RAs. and probably have a manager in the, there um, to have somebody on site that's closer than on the other side of campus. Um, not sure about the costs. New construction always costs more, so it probably will cost more than than um, the, the residence halls. But we don't, I'm not sure about the cost. That's one of the options we're looking at as well as how, what, how can we keep the cost down but also offer the newest amenities like you know, full kitchens, washers and dryers, that kind of stuff. It might be a good idea just because the school would be expanding, but I think we need to use the money to build that for internal improvements and or more scholarships and advertising to attract more students to the campus. Well, it would be a gated community. Um, 
and then I'm not real sure that is a concern and that's one of the concerns that are showing up on those surveys is the safety um, and the perceived safety. Not around here, not unless they bought out the whole block and had um, gated, you know, like the big gates with the swiping of the cards. And no, I, I would not, I personally would not live in that if that was me, if they had no security. So we would definitely have to have a on-site management, um, possibly uh, security having a, maybe a station over there. Um, the gated community doesn't necessarily keep people out. It's, it's, it's just as a somewhat of a, a deterrent. Um, so we're not really sure what we'd have to put it in there to make students feel like they were safe there. But that's definitely a concern that we're, we're dealing with is, is because it's on that other side of Rosedale Street, how safe is it and how safe would it be perceived. President Slaybach has set up a website to allow Texas Wesleyan students to comment on how they feel they can improve the campus. Comment and leave your opinions by visiting the website below. Thanks for tuning in to Rambler TV. Be sure to check out our website for daily updates on sports, news, and entertainment. Or you can pick up a copy of the Rambler at any newsstand in the cafeteria or library. This is Eliana. And this is Ariel. Signing out.